up next on the next episode of Next on the Bench. We got a Heathkit SB220. Uh, it's in here. A friend of mine wants me to check it out. He's just been converted to run the uh, 3-400Z tubes. He wants to make sure it'll run the uh, 3-500Z tubes. So we're going to be going through that. Okay, we got the top open. And it's definitely running a pair of 3-400s in it. Grounded grid configuration. Somebody's grounded the grids on the tubes. So, not much left to do other than bring it up on the uh, Variac and uh, we'll power test it with the uh, tubes it has in it. But, uh, as far as just dropping a pair of 3-500Zs in it, yeah, man. It shouldn't be any problem at all. Everything is all uh, set up the way you want it. Rounded grid and everything. So, we'll check this out in a bit. Catch me later. Okay, so we got it wired for 110. Or actually, 120. Uh, my Variac is only uh, 120. So, I actually was going to swap out this cord, but it looks like it's in pretty good shape. I know it's only a two wire cord, but it looks factory. Cord looks like it's in good shape. want to kind of save a little money on this project. So, we're going to leave it. Just wire the 110 plug in on the end there. Bring it up on the Variac, make sure it doesn't freak out, and then uh, if everything checks out good, we're going to uh, try to see if we can get this thing to make some power. Catch me later. Okay, let's move on to the finishing up on the SB220 heat kit project. So it's been converted to 110. 110 volt plug put on it. The unit is turned on. Let's get to juicing it up with the Viriac. Here we go. Wish us luck. God, please keep us safe. Fifty volts so far. Everything feels good. Tubes are starting to glow. Yep, both tubes are glowing. He said he turned it on, but man, I believe in safety first. I don't just turn stuff on, especially when they got the factory caps in it. Hundred and twenty volts. Everything's looking good, everything's holding up. Let's power her down. Okay. Next is to uh, cable it in. We're just going to use the stock CB. We're not going to put a linear up to it to start with. And we're going to see if we get some amplification. If we do, then we'll go ahead and uh, put about 60 watts in it and see how it does. So stay tuned. Psychotech Labs will be right back. All right. Let's turn it on and see if we can get some amplification out of it. Now remember, we're running 3-400Z tubes, not 3-500s. So you want to start out on low power. These tubes are basically instant on. They 
Hello. amplification now all we got to do is uh, take and uh, hook up a little linear to it and drive it a little harder and see what we get stay tuned I know isn't this exciting like wow we're gonna throw more RF power in it see what it does stand by okay we're gonna shove about 60 watts up it Gonna start out on low. Hard to key the mic with your hands all broken. Audio. Ah 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 audio. High power. Ah. 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 Yeah. Definitely got something that making a good contact in the relay, but we're shorting out on the on the. Uh, I think it was the uh, load. Audio. So I can go in there and check it out. Look for dust bunnies. Not putting out a super lot of power either. I don't think those tubes are that great. But we are making some power. But uh, not a lot. It, uh, it's doing about 500. So, yeah, it's about half of what it should be making. All right, I'm going to have to check the antenna load out, see if it's shorting out there, or, or if we need to service the relay or what. Catch me later. We'll get back to this project. Okay, today we're doing something I don't like to do running it with the case off and the safety defeated but we need to see where that antenna loads sparking at so we're gonna key it up and uh, see if we can see where it's sparking at in here audio oh oh Ah, 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 audio. I know it acts like it's the antenna load. I don't see any sparking. Okay, let's turn the lights off. Try it with the lights off. Let's see. Uh, 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 audio, audio. No, not seeing.
seeing it in the Intel, dude. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if it's in that relay. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be the antenna load. I don't see anywhere where the antenna load is is arcing. So, kind of suspecting maybe it might be in that relay. You might have to replace that relay. I don't want to just go in here and just replace all every part until I find the problem. I'd like to actually see what it's doing. But, you know, comes the time, you got to consider safety and not getting electrocuted. Anyway, so far we haven't nailed down where it's arcing and sparking, although it really acts like the antenna load. I'm, it's hard to hear too. I mean, the sound's reflecting all over in there. But yeah, I'm suspecting that relay. <clears throat> We're going to let the voltage bleed off and flip it on its back. I'm going to check the relay out and uh, take it from there. Stay tuned for the continuing adventures of the Heathkit SB220. So, the, I don't know how good this camera is going to pick it up. I uh, shifted the points over so. If you look at the, uh, that's on the pass-through contacts, they're all black and, and uh, they're bad. I can't see the uh, transmit side, um, but I'm going to imagine they're, they're burnt. So we're going to make the call to replace that relay. We got uh, a bigger, heavier duty relay to put in there. So, without further ado, let's get her done. Okay, the feed is done. Took out that old crusty relay, put in a fresh new relay. Yep, bigger, better relay. Yep. So, now we just let the adhesive dry, and then we can uh, go ahead and test this thing out. Catch me after a bit. Okay, the new relay's been put in. We're going to turn it on, heat up, test it out, and uh, see how it works. Yeah, the old relay, the contacts were definitely uh, pretty burnt, so... That had to be done one way or the other. Power on the main grid. Hey, look. an issue with the antenna load. We're going to have to address that. So, yep. It's working with the new relay. We're putting out, uh, actually it seems to be putting out a little more power, but yeah, that antenna load is still sparking and arcing, so we're going to have to pull it, see what the heck's going on. I can't see where it's arcing. It seems to be arcing underneath of it, so bummer man I was hoping the relay would be uh, the magic cure but had to be replaced can't do nothing with the contacts all burnt uh. yeah I don't think the camera's going to show it yeah the contacts in it they're all burnt so 
Yeah, we're going to have to pull the antenna load out. Oh boy, not what I wanted to do. Especially, I still got a broken arm and hand. Catch me later, Psychotech Lab. Signing off for now. Okay, we got it unsoldered, unbolted. It won't come out until we take the face off. So we started taking the face off. Once you get that off, it'll be uh, maneuverable enough where we, we could pull that antenna load out. Not my favorite thing, but got to do it. It's got to be done. Catch me later. Okay. Right there, you'll see a little nick. It's another one back here. Camera's not going to pick it up, but... If I get the light shining just right, I can see a couple burnt spots there and there. So we're going to clean the uh, slag off that fin, and then we're going to bend it so it's not uh, making contact, and put it together, and uh, hope all is well and swell. Catch me in a bit. Okay, we scraped the slag off those tuning plates on the variable air gap. My guess is the bad relay uh, caused it to feed back in there and arc. I mean the plates weren't bent, they just had slag. So clean the slag up and uh, put it back together. Let's key it up, see what it does. Audio. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Audio, audio. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. no, it's not short now anymore, but sure, it's putting out very much power. Oh, yeah. oh. Something's not right. Hello. 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 Hello.
300 watts. We kick that up. Audio. Audio. Not really making much of a difference. Voltage is going up. Yeah. So. I don't know. It's got more issues. It's not. Uh, not tuned up right on the 10 meter uh, position. Yeah, I noticed that before too. Put out more on 15 meter. So we got some work to do. Something wrong with the Pi network on 10 meters. <clears throat> well, we will have to play around and see what the hell somebody did. Maybe they loaded that for 6 meters. Seen that done. Catch me later. We'll have to probe into this a little more. Okay. So the way this works. This capacitor here blocks all the high voltage DC current. Only RF current can go past it. it goes into this first. So that's your plate tin. Then goes to a coil. Okay. Then it goes to the antenna load. But this has a band switch in it. The 10 meter position, which is back here in the back, is burned up. I was getting a little power out. About 300 watts on 15 meters. But uh, basically almost nothing on 10 meters. So what I did, and in theory this should work, is I cut this off of the back of that switch. Four to five turns right around there is 10, 11 meters, basically. So here's your four turns. You have two tank coils. You have that one that's got a bunch of taps on it, and then this one which is tapped right there. RF is only going to see what's resonant for it. So that's going to be resonant for 10 to 11 meters. So what I did is I bolted and soldered that strap onto the uh, antenna load capacitor, bypassing the switch and everything. Input tune is still hooked up. We're in the 10 meter position, so the input tune should have been fine. It's just on the output. The uh, relay contacts were fried, so that caused it to feed power back into the antenna load. So I had to fix that and fry the uh, 10 meter switch. That's usually what happens if you key your mic and then key the linear. It starts frying the relay. So we're going to try it now. See if we get some power out of it. Wish me luck. Alrighty. So we're going to hit the pedal and see what we got. So some guy was trash talking my meters and stuff. Hmm. I got a bird meters right there. I happen to like my dosy meter. It works good. You know, when people, when their stuff leaves here, when they go home, they get on their meters, it's showing the same as what my dosy's doing. So, take that. I got a bird meter. Just don't like it. It's made for FM. It's not made for AM. Well, let's see what happens. Uh, audio. Uh, audio. Uh, uh, 
Not what I wanted to see. Got a feeling there's something wrong with the input too, so we'll have to check that out too. Catch me later. Alright. Say I'm not happy with this linear as an understatement. <coughs> so, relay contracts are fried. That caused the antenna load to fry and it caused the band switch to fry on the output side. Now I thought I could get away with not messing with the input uh, but no on 10 meters the input circuit is not tuned or it could have something to do with the bands which being messed up on the input side too. So I bypassed all that. I'm making this so you could in theory put it back the way it was if you had a, come up with another pan switch. So I've drilled a hole, I've mounted a variable air gap capacitor here in the back. We got to run that T right there. That's the input into the tubes. So we still got to wind a little coil. Then we got to run it coax from here to here that way the input circuits tunable right now the way it is when you try to run it on 11 meters the standing wave is like higher than hell so we're gonna fix that because yeah you can't have the standing wave at 3.5 that's not acceptable anyway we're gonna finish piecing the the new um, input tuning circuit together and then test this thing out catch me later all right welcome back so we installed the input tune circuit and uh, basically we're putting out power now and still haven't got a lot of power I mean it's doing about 400 watts um, our input standing wave was over 3.5 uh, running with this here on this is just you know I just threw this together threw it in our uh, standing wave now on the input is two and a half so we need to do a little fine tuning on our input tuning circuit that we built um, get the standing wave down under a tube and then uh, I'll say this thing's pretty much done the input uh, wasn't working on it either I don't know wh what screwed up on that or somebody rammed a bunch of power up anyway there's a, a input tuning network in behind this band switch here <coughs> so yeah once we bypass that everything started working so what caused it all relay uh, contacts were fried that caused the power to back feed into the antenna load which we had a service because it had arced and sparked in there and then it also burned up the uh, band switch on the output side so we bypassed all that, um, just wound a tank coil for 11 meters, put that in. We seem to be resonating good on the output side. So I'm going to play around with this uh, input tune, get the standing wave under a two, hopefully button this thing up and get it the hell off the bench. Catch me later. So, some people are probably going to diss me for using <coughs> this little meter for my input standing wave, but I like that little meter. It's easy to read because it's tilted. 
<clears throat> and uh, yeah, it's really accurate. Okay. Hello. Put in 1.6 on the standard wave. Hello. Audio. Audio. It's doing 550 watts. Uh, with about 60 watts drive. <clears throat> it's running, like I say, a pair of old beat up uh, 3 400 tubes in it. So I'm going to say if you put some 3 500s in there, you should get 1500 watts. <clears throat> so that's about it. I am. I'm not going to put in my spare 3-500Zs in it because those are for emergency purposes in case something happens to my Henry 2K Classic. So that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and wrap this project up. Yeah. is all I can get it to do with the tubes it's got in it. 1.6 uh, standing wave on the input tune. We're going to call that a wrap. Catch me later. Yep, Psychotech Labs. Saying thanks for watching my videos everyone. Wrapping up this um, old SB220. Project is done. It went from <clears throat> not putting out anything on on the 10 meter band to now we're putting out 550. Um, we got everything tuned in resonance, all that stuff. So this project's done. See ya.